Rappers could be going about their day and get stopped and investigated without a warrant. It's been a big problem in the rap community, as these artists end up in trouble they didn't bargain for. Now, some are lucky enough to get away without anything found, while others outsmart the cops that think they're smart. So, here are seven times rappers outsmarted the police. Julio Fulio In April 2022, Julio Fulio, a Jacksonville rapper, was pulled over for driving a tinted Dodge Durango. Hands out! Yeah. Hands out! Turn around! Turn around! Bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Julio has been a key figure in a bloody rivalry between two Jacksonville gangs. The other gang publicly... He was asked to step out of the vehicle while guns were being pointed at him. There was no warrant released for Julio's arrest or to search his property. But as he was pulled over and asked to step away from the vehicle, a prosecutor arrived at the scene with police officers and an illegal search was carried out on the vehicle. You want me to put that in as personal property? He said evidence? Yes. Yes. No, it's on. Yes. We have circumstances right now where his action is still on. Yes, my camera is still on. So. Well, it's, it's absolutely Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's evidence? Yeah. It's okay, evidence. good deal. Now, Julio had been involved in a gang fight and was supposed to remain in the city, but authorities believed he was fleeing, which prompted the arrest. The rapper felt violated because there was absolutely no reason for a prosecutor to be at the scene of a traffic infraction seeking his arrest. Julio was then taken into custody to be questioned about the death of his best friend, Mitch. Do you notice how the case moved from a traffic infraction to him fleeing and eventually being questioned for a murder? The cops wanted to one-up him, but the rapper had more in mind. Um, can you kind of give me a, you know, just run down on y'all relationship when y'all met? How long y'all been partners or whatever? Uh, um, I don't know, he was like 12, 13. The detectives first tried to make it seem like Julio was the one interested in knowing more about his friend's death by telling him that they were sure he wanted to know what happened with his friend. Julio was asked about his relationship with Mitch, and he made it clear that they were childhood friends. As y'all got older, he used to come to my mom's house. I used to come. Okay. He used to come over there. My little brother came to me without everybody used to come out. He used to come over there, so his. Uh -huh. Julio was then asked what he knew about Mitch's death so far, and he told the cops that he was in Miami when everything went down. I was in Miami when, when I heard the news, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like they were trying everything possible to corner him and pin Mitch's death on him, but Julio denied every allegation and question. The cops also expected him to snitch, but he wasn't going to either as he claimed to know nothing about the case. What you been here? I mean, this your home, this your homeboy, bro. I ain't, you know I'm saying? I went to his funeral and all, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? You would never know who, you know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas ain't gonna come out and just say, oh, I killed Nick, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm talking about y'all group, like, from your end, who you, what names are you guys hearing? I ain't really hearing shit, that's what I'm saying, you ain't gonna, I don't know. Julio avoided getting in trouble and showed detectives that they could arrest him wrongly, but never force a statement out of him. The rapper eventually got six months of probation for the traffic stop and tampering with evidence. The Baby The second rapper that outsmarted the cops was The Baby. In January 2020, The Baby performed at a concert in Miami. When it was time to get paid, Kenneth Carey, the concert promoter, paid The Baby 20K instead of 30K. The rapper confronted the promoter, and it soon turned into a full-on street brawl. Our sources tell us that it could have been a police officer's bullet that hit Mr. Dion. Can you comment on that? Yeah, um, it, it was, Frankie. This was a friendly fire situation. It was an officer's round that, that struck Mr. Dion. Okay? Kenneth Carey and his buddy claimed they had lost personal items during the brawl, and that the baby robbed them. The matter got to court and was addressed in 2022. The prosecutors dropped the battery charge against the baby, but the rapper still had to deal with the $6 million lawsuit against him from the incident. His lawyers fought well for him in court because he won the case and walked out a free man. His lawyer said, Mr. Kirk deserves all the credit in the world for not caving in to these plaintiffs' cash demands and having the confidence in the facts and his legal team to take this to a jury trial for a complete and total victory. Spot him, got him. Spot him, got him. Another Jacksonville rapper took out smarting the police to a whole new level. 
In June 2022, the rapper was arrested after getting into a high-speed chase on a jet ski after being pulled over by police. Imagine risking your life to get away from the police when you would eventually get caught. So Spottom Gotham was cruising on a jet ski, dangerously close to other people. When officers tried to stop him, he sped off. Felony bond at the time that he was arrested yesterday. Namaya Harden, better known in the rap game as Spot of Gotham, was arrested Sunday in Miami. He was allegedly driving a jet ski dangerously close to other boats and people in the water near the Miami Marine Stadium in Virginia Key. According to police, when officers tried to stop him, he sped off on that jet ski. The insane thing about this situation is that the rapper was out on felony bond. So his reckless behavior was a terrible decision, as any crime, no matter how irrelevant, could get him in trouble and locked behind bars for years. His fans began to wonder how this incident was going to affect his career, as he already had an extensive criminal record. Rapper, no stranger to the law, with several run-ins dating back to 2017, and just last year, he was injured in a drive-by shooting. Spottom Gotham is set to appear in court on a date that hasn't been announced as he's facing multiple charges, including reckless handling of a boat. He could have just pulled over when he was asked to. Take K. While some rappers outsmart the cops during interrogations, Tay K took off his ankle monitor and hit the road. The rapper was 16 when he got arrested for the murder of Ethan Walker. Tay and six other teenagers had broken into Ethan Walker's home in Texas to steal drugs and cash, but things went sideways quickly. Now, I don't know who fired the shot, but Ethan Walker was gunned down in front of his girlfriend. Tay K was 16 at the time of this incident, so he was placed under house arrest. However, in 2017, he decided he had enough and cut off his ankle monitor and hit the streets. He went online to brag about it, claiming that they would have to search the hood to find him. During this period as a fugitive, he released a song titled The Race, which was him bragging about his life as a fugitive. While still on the run, he robbed and beat up a 65-year-old man and committed other crimes, making the situation worse. When he was eventually caught, he was sentenced to 55 years in prison. Tay thought he was smarter than the law, but the consequences of his actions caught up with him quickly. Black Youngsta Black Youngsta's case is not just about outsmarting the cops, but shows how rappers get wrongly profiled. In 2016, he withdrew $200,000 from a Wells Fargo bank to buy a new car. While he was flexing the money in the bank's parking lot, cops accosted him and tackled him to the ground. Police in Atlanta are apologizing for a misunderstanding involving a rapper that was held at gunpoint after he withdrew $200,000 of his own money. So uh, the rapper in question here, his name is Sam Benson. It turned out that someone had called the cops to accuse Black Youngsta of robbery, but the rapper claimed that he withdrew the money from Wells Fargo. The bank claimed he didn't have an account with them, but he proved them wrong by showing his bank statement. He was eventually released as there was no evidence, and he opened up a new account with Bank of America. Black Youngsta was released, but suffered a case of racial profiling, which is a problem for rappers. Not every rapper is as lucky as him to get away before people find out that they were innocent. Finding that no crime had been committed. And again, he told the media, look, I don't believe in showing up to the car dealership with a check, all right? I show up with cash, and I drop the cash, and I buy my car. And apparently, a black person who has hundreds of thousands of dollars is very suspicious, and cops have to immediately put a gun to his head. Well, Anna, we finally found it. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne the rap legend proved that he was not just a smart lyricist, but also a smart human. In 2007, his tour bus was stopped by police, and weed, coke, and guns were found with them. The rapper was arrested, and to avoid a long sentence, he admitted to the charges against him and only spent eight months in jail. Now, if he had resisted and lied, like how most cops would have preferred, he would have spent years behind bars. But the rapper knew better and got himself out of jail early. Kodak Black 
Black is back in court, hoping to beat the rap. A Broward judge deciding whether he should be let out of jail. 19-year-old Dyson Octave is accused of attacking a bartender. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan was in the hearing all day long. He's live in Fort Lauderdale to fill us in. Todd. The last rapper on this list is Kodak Black. And it just makes sense that he would come after Lil Wayne, since he did something similar. In 2018, he attended a boxing match and went to a strip club without telling his probation officer. He was also found guilty of possessing a gun as a felon, having weed, attacking a bartender, and neglecting a child. The only way to get out of an extreme sentence was to admit to the crime. Kodak Black admitted to the possession of weed, and all the other charges were dropped, so he could get a lighter sentence. He outsmarted the law by accepting some crimes, so he could protect himself from the punishment of the other allegations against him. To outsmart the cops, you have to learn to pick your words and stay quiet. The smallest statement could get you the heaviest sentence, and you don't want to deal with all that. These rappers understood how to get around the law by playing it cool, and it worked out for them. But not all rappers are lucky or are smart enough to get out of trouble. But the ones who've escaped deserve some respect for their smartness. We've come to the end of this video. Which of these rappers outsmarting cops was the most careless? For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.